Hello everyone, this is Easy from OneTechStop.com and this is a quick look at the new build 10536. So on my right here, I've got the new build 10536 and on my left you can see the previous 10, 5, 12. I'm just going to do a quick so there you can see this is the uh, previous 5, 12 build and this is the newer version, the uh, recently released 10, 536. Uh, Microsoft did announce a bunch of new improvements, um, optimizations to the new build here compared to the previous one and we will take a look, quick look at both right now. Um, first thing I notice off the bat is my LEDs or my capacitive buttons here don't work. Um, both devices are Lumia 830s, um, same model. Uh, for some reason, after I upgraded to 10 536, the LED lights don't work. They're actually intermittent, sometimes they do, but as you can see, compared to the previous build, so that might be one issue Microsoft could look at, but it is model specific. Uh, moving on, um, the most notable change from the previous build to the newer one is your lock screen. So if I double tap, as you can see, it takes a while for your lock screen information to come up. Uh, do that again so you can see Microsoft has uh, resolved that issue. You can see there's nothing then. It takes about three seconds and then it comes up. But on the newer build, uh, they resolved, fixed that issue. So um, that's a good thing there. And secondly, Another nice welcome fix is in the map application. Go in there. So with the new build uh, 10536, you can now pinch the zoom to move your maps around, whereas on the previous one, it doesn't work. So it looks like this isn't an app um, specific problem. It was more on the uh, OS side of it. So. As you can see, because they should have just updated the uh, map app, but it needed a new build. So uh, this was an issue that was not related to the actual application, but on the operating system. So there you can see now it does work. Here you still have to double tap to zoom in. So that's a nice fix from Microsoft there. Then what else? Um, if you slide down on the Action Center. Um, the quiet hours doesn't work. It has been fixed on 10.536, as you can see there. Mobile hotspot also now works. I can go in there and you can set up uh, your cellular data and all that stuff. Whereas on the previous build, um, you could say, oh, but when you try to connect, the problem was it could not um, assign IP addresses to whatever device was connecting to it. So um, that is now fixed with the new build there. So uh, that is a one plus. And what else? Um, other than that, everything seems to be um, just a whole bunch of fixes, um, optimizations. Um, performance wise, it is faster than the previous build, as we'll see in a bit. So, I'm just going to launch, let's see here, I can launch the store application. If I can find it, let's see. So, we're going to launch it at the same time. So as you can see, the uh, new build is faster than the older one there. Can try something else. You can do the Edge browser.
Max of H start at the same time. So I mean it's slightly faster. Well there's a problem the rendering well the and it actually open the same page so and do it justice by let's see open up a web page see if the browser is faster um, both are connected to the same Wi-Fi so so it looks like um, it was quite faster on the previous build here um, we can test something else and uh, let's see also uh, before we keep testing there is an issue where you can see a z storage this app actually crashes the settings page so that is an issue myself is aware of and it did list in the uh, list of issues um then moving on the photos application did get a few improvements with this build so uh, you can see you now have the new folders as compared to the previous build here so you have right there albums collection there is no more hamburger menu um, it's more of a pivot navigation system back to the original way Microsoft used to do it so. and um, yeah you have your albums camera roll save pictures screenshots and then you have your folders where you can this was originally on Windows Phone 8.1. Microsoft has reintroduced these features back into the Photos application, which um, I'm guessing is a lot of pressure from Windows Insiders to bring back this feature. So that's a good thing. We would love to see individual folders being able to manually sync um, albums or folders to OneDrive. Um, that feature has not yet been implemented. And uh, yeah. So hopefully we'll see more enhancements, more new features coming over. Um, what else here? Microsoft has reintroduced the Insider Hub. But that is not available on the previous build. Then also, there you can see the Insider Hub. Then also the Windows Feedback app. You can now share your feedback on social networks Let's go open that here so you can see there's a new uh, windows feedback application the ui you can see the difference in the two this has more of the universal touch to it with the uh, windows 10 uh, ux there this has more of the old Windows Phone 8 Metro buttons at the bottom there. So you can see the differences between the two of them. And then when you do add, you can actually add a whatever uh, feedback you want to add, for instance. I'm just going to type. You can send it. So you can see here too, so the whole UI is different. So there, and you have the option to share. So you can pick feedback and you can share this feedback. If you want to share it, you can say yes. And you can choose what media you want to use to share. Um, I don't know why there's a tab for NFC. I guess you can share with other Windows Insiders on your Windows phones. And that's the only way I see it happening. And um, you can see on the old, there is no option to share uh, feedback suggestions. So that is one notable um, feature upgrade in the feedback application. Um, so that is pretty much it. There isn't a whole bunch of new features. Um, Microsoft is focusing on um, optimizing the operating system, it seems. It's been a while since we've seen any drastic 
change or new additions to the operating system. So it's looking likely that we might not see any um, significant um, feature upgrade to the existing Windows 10 mobile, which is quite sad because a lot of um, feedback has come in about making, for instance, the action center transparent or have a blur effect uh, and a whole bunch of other features. Uh, you can stay tuned, subscribe to the blog, and um, I will be doing a comprehensive list of features that are still missing from Windows 10 Mobile. Uh, it would be nice if Microsoft um, did implement a few features once Windows 10 launches so it would have that nice first impression for new users. I mean, it's not to say uh, more features aren't coming, but it would be nice to have a list of fundamental, fundamental set of features that are available upon launch of Windows 10 Mobile. Uh, but for now, uh, most of what we have here, we haven't seen a feature upgrade or any new features in the last, I think, three builds that have come out. So it would be nice if Microsoft did add a few, especially the action blur effect, which I think should be fairly easy. It's already available on Windows 10 in the Action Center. That's already transparent, so it would be nice if you saw that feature added. Also, there's a whole bunch of other features missing, but those are application independent, like in the Outlook Mail. Um, let me do a speed test with the Outlook Mail, see if there's any improvement. Let's tap this too. So it looks like uh, the, well, this is, I haven't set this up yet, so. Um, but yeah, there is still no unified inbox. We're hoping that will come, but that is an application specific that, that can easily be upgraded from the Windows Phone Store. I'm all in all, um, the performance difference between the two, the previous build and this latest 10, 536, uh, is not that glaring. The, top, the main improvement is the lock screen and um, the mobile hotspot issue has been fixed and the quiet hours have been fixed also. And another feature Microsoft introduced is you can now use the start button to for one-handed use. So there is something funky going on with my capacity buttons. You can see it doesn't work. Okay, there you go. So um, this feature is only available, was only available on five inch screen devices, but Microsoft introduced it to phones with less than five inch screens. So if you have a phone like the 635, uh, you should now have this feature to bring down the screen for ease of access for one handed users. So that is a one plus. Um, other than that, yeah, um, slight improvements. Um, I'm sure most insiders would love to see more new features. Um, I don't think we're satisfied with the features that are available now on the application. And let's do a speed test with calculator. So yeah, as you can see, it's like a millisecond faster on the latest build. So it is a tad faster than the previous 10, 5, 12. Should you upgrade to the latest build? Um, I have been using 5... Uh, 10, 512, the previous one for over a month. Uh, the new one, as you can see, I just installed on this Lumia 536, on this Lumia 830, sorry, and the capacity buttons don't work. So I think there are going to be issues depending on what model Lumia you're using. So um, I can't really say. I have a 930, which I'll probably have to see how the build runs on it. But from my experience so far with this build, it's too early to say if. Um, you can use this as a daily driver. I did use a previous build with the lag from the lock screen and all other issues from the mobile hotspot, all quiet hours. So yeah, this is definitely uh, an upgrade compared to the previous build as it fixes a lot of the bugs um, we experienced. So, so yeah, um, that is a quick look at the build 10.536. I uh, can drop comments below. Remember to subscribe to this channel for more videos. I'm doing a whole bunch of comparison videos with the as newer, more stable views come out. I'm trying to compare this with Android, iOS, even Symbian. You'd be surprised there's a bunch of features on Symbian devices that are still lacking from Windows 10 Mobile. So to be sure to subscribe and uh, look forward to more videos coming up uh, within the next week. All right, and this is easy. Thanks for watching. Bye.